Hey everyone, I hope you all are having a blessed day today. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how we built our new chicken coop for our barred Plymouth rocks. So right here in this big opening is where the gate is going to go. And right here where I have it circled is pieces of wood that actually connects the two pallets together. We screwed them into each pallet. Now all the walls to the chicken coop are up and screwed together and you'll actually see this small piece of wood screwed into this tree and this long piece of wood screwed into the piece of wood and the pallet. And that is to make this big wall even more sturdy than what it was and to help it not um, kind of bow out like how it was doing. I didn't take a picture of that. But also down here where you see this chicken walking right here, we had to dig out this mountain of dirt that was right there. Now this is the inside of the chicken coop. I might put nesting boxes right there on the wall and I did end up putting a piece of wood at the bottom of the gate because as you just saw the whenever you shut the gate it kind of swings in more. You feel good about it? Yeah. And this is the start of us putting the bottom layer of fencing in to keep out predators. Okay, almost all the fencing. Oh, come on. Okay, we got a little bit more fencing to do, but for the most part, it's done. We nailed it to the pallets and then to connect the two layers of fencing, I use zip ties. They're not super noticeable. And then the feed bags are just to block the wind from coming in during the winter time. I did leave this back wall open because it's starting to get to spring and summer and it's going to be hot in here with the clear roof. But the reason why I did a clear roof was because during the winter time, I want them to get as much sun as they can. Because you can see how bright it is in here. Just excuse the mess. Just don't pay attention to that. But you can see how bright it is in here, right? The main idea was when it's winter time, they still get a lot more sunlight than what they get in their other one, which is the tall pink one right there. All right. So these are my two testers on the first roof. I didn't nail that side in yet. And she just jumped off. But I placed a piece of wood here, nailed it in, then nailed the branch into that wood. So now this is nice and sturdy. He seems to like it. Do you like it? Are you going to peck the camera? Do you like it? Okay, so we're done with all three roofs, and Mom and Chicken's going to be the first one to try out the tallest one. Yay! Do you like it, Mommy Chicken? Now, the roof is at a slant, so as it goes down, they're going to be higher to the roof. Than what she's at right now but even at that it's still gonna be like pretty tall okay so this is the finished product of the chicken coop i got the roost up i gotta put some leaves in there to make some mulch and they can scratch around and make some soil for me and right there is going to be a doorway where they can go out into the chicken run and i got three long roosts and i nailed all of them in into the pieces of wood and when I didn't have wood I used that stick and I nailed them together it's super sturdy like I can push on it and it not like break off or anything like that I do have to put the fencing on the door and then uh, I think I'll be done So that's what we have. And remember to like and subscribe unless you appreciate it. Hold on. For now that it's hooked. So here's the two roosters and here's five of the hens. I put two little baskets in here so if they want to lay an egg in there or in there, they can. Because at least four of the hens are laying eggs. The other two are too young to be laying eggs right now. But 
I went ahead and separated the Plymouth Rock from the Rhode Island Reds. And this is not like a permanent way they're gonna live in here. They're just living in here for a week to know that this is their home base. This is where they sleep at night. Cause the bigger hens, that one and those two were sleeping in the big princess castle. So they need to understand that this is where they live and sleep now. And then once a week has passed and they're all sleeping on the roost, then I'll come over, take out these two nesting boxes. And behind here, <laughs> there's a gap like this size down here. And I'm gonna cut a hole out of the fencing and move the fencing back. And then they'll have access to this run and then to the nesting box that is up there. You can actually see a little road on the red in there. And then back there will be where they eat and drink, which is where the princess castle, where they used to sleep at night is. I'm gonna make it to where they can't go up there and roost at night anymore. So then they have this area to roost. It's a lot of space for just this little chickens. But for now, this is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and this project of making this coop. I gotta shut the door because she's wanting to come out. All right, so that's where I put the feeder and that's where the water is. I was hoping that I could put the feeder and waterer on the same blocks, but that'll take up a little too much room. The hens can still go into the nesting box. As you can see, that one's just standing in it, trying to eat the food. What are you doing? Are you not hungry? <laughs> Okay, so last night was their first night. They still, they did really good. All of them are still in here, still alive. Move, move, move. They're trying to get out. <laughs> Watch out, move. They didn't use the nesting boxes. They just made their own nest on the ground and laid an egg. But at least we got an egg. Okay, so I had an idea. I'll just put the egg right there. And then maybe they get the gist of they need to lay their eggs right there. I don't see any more eggs. We're supposed to have four, four Plymouth Rock hens that are still laying eggs. And then two that have not laid eggs yet. What are you doing? No, no, no. Okay, never mind. I won't leave the egg in here because it looks like she's trying to eat it. Hopefully they just get the idea because if they don't, um, we could just pick up eggs off the ground. Not a big deal. All right, you guys stay in here. Let me go get your food. Back, 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 back. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video of the chicken coop. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye. And please like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos.